Hey guys, what is up? This is Trey back with another Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about bleed and how to add bleed into your Photoshop documents. Now, Photoshop doesn't have a native support for bleed, uh, and that's typically because Photoshop is used for uh, more screen type designs than print designs. You would use typically a, a program like Illustrator uh, in order or or even uh, InDesign to typically export things for print but there are several reasons why you might be using Photoshop uh, one of which is it has a lot of better features in my opinion uh, to add things like clipping masks and different effects gradients and such than Illustrator might have so today we're going to be talking about how to how to set up a Photoshop document to where you can easily throw it into Illustrator and export it with Bleed. Uh, and if you don't know what Bleed is, Bleed is basically the uh, the extra area on the edge of documents that printers need in order to make images and textures uh, extend to the edge. That way you don't have just a white border around your document. So. Let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing you want to do is have your document set up, whatever uh, your your image size needs to be. And then we're going to go in and we're going to hit image, canvas size, and you want to make sure that your background and foreground color are set to something different than your actual background color that you're starting with. In this case, I'm going to add one eighth of an inch uh, bleed, so I need to add one eighth of an inch here, one eighth of an inch here. So my width is going to increase by 0.25 and my height is going to increase by 0.25 as well. And you'll see it go, goes ahead and adds this nice border. And what we can do is select our magic wand tool, hitting W on the keyboard, and you can just click this. And th that's the reason why we've got these set differently to the, our white background. What I like to do is add a layer on top and I just go ahead and select this background color and then throw that in there. And so now we kind of have a border that we can work underneath that will give us a live preview of what will actually be printed. And then we have this layer on top uh, that hides the, the excess. But this is what will be cut off by the printer anyway. So I just like to label this as bleed and then lock that layer. And now we can go ahead and add in whatever we want printed. So if we want to add a box in here that say is this orange color and text in the middle on top of that, we'll just say text. All right, it's not perfectly centered, but we're okay with that. This isn't a tutorial on how to make a print. Anyway, all right, so we're going to go ahead and save this. And before you save it, you want to make sure you turn this bleed layer off. And that's going to let this excess area be open. So we're going to hit save. And you can save this anywhere you like. I'm just going to call this print test. And save it. Make sure you save it as a PSD. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go over into Illustrator and they actually have a feature where you can open it directly. You can open a, a PSD into it. So when you hit open for the PSD, you're going to get two options. You can either uh, have all the layers flattened to a single image or you can convert the layers to objects. Now this is a good option if you're going to add on to this or if you might want to add uh, further text. Uh, it's going to look better if you add your text inside of Illustrator just because it's going to be vector and it's going to be scaled and there's not going to be any pixelation to it. So you can decide whichever one. Typically I'll do convert layers to objects. That way you have a little bit more flexibility. So let's do that and see how this looks. And you'll see that it's already added in our layers into the layers panel. So I can turn off text if I want. Uh, I can move this around. Um, I'm not sure if it's editable. 
Actually, it is. Okay, so sweet. That was really simple. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to change the document to add the bleed. So currently, if we look at our artboards, hang on, let me pull this window over here. You can see that the width uh, is set to 4.25 inches. Now what we want to do is we want to edit this back down to just four inches. And you'll see what this does in a second. Now we have this excess on the outside and all we have to do is hit document setup, throw our bleed in here, which is one eighth of an inch. And that adds, adds this red line around the edge. Now we're ready to save for print. So you're just gonna hit file, save as. We'll do a PDF and we'll save right on top of the desktop. Now I have a, a preset here that says print for bleed or print with bleed. Uh, but the easy way to do this uh, is to just deselect all of these. That makes sure that uh, the printer don't, doesn't have any issues with text not being outlined. Uh, compression, I always do do not downsample. That ends up looking better. And then you wanna just check this all printers marks and use document bleed. And that's it. Then you hit save and you're set. And let me just go ahead and open this up so we can see what it ends up looking like. And here you go. You have these line marks for the printer that they can cut and your four by four print is ready to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it helped you out. If it did, Make sure to leave a like and leave a comment for future tutorials that you'd like to see. That's it for me, guys. Thanks so much for watching.